Okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show how one of the things we've added to FME Server is the ability to trigger events from email. So in this workflow, uh, by sending an email with some data to FME Server, it is going to run some QA and send the results back. Now it's also just to show how, again, we leverage FME Server to do um, work with third-party tools, is we're also going to, if it's successful, we're going to update a database and we're going to use HTML5 via pushers technology to update um, web pages that are watching the data. So that's what we're going to show you here. And again, it's all driven with a simple email that uh, triggers a workspace to run, and the workspace does all the magic. First it does QA, and if the QA passes, it uh, publishes to a database, and then the database is updated and uh, shown to the user. So here we go. Okay, so we go here and here is my Google Maps here with Pusher right here. And um, see, so we're going to be adding data in this part here. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to compose an email. CAD water. Okay. And um, how does this work? Okay, so We'll attach a file. First we'll go bad just to simulate what happens when it doesn't work. And when that's there, I simply click send. And now the data is going to be sent. Okay, so now the data is sent. So I go here, whoa, that was fast. And um, the data, I get a report, and the report tells me all the things that are wrong with it. Okay, so now let's compose another one. And um, same same spot this should work whoa okay we're gonna attach a file this time we're gonna attach the good one okay and um, again it's been attached and I'm going to send it and um, what happens now is again um, the the workspace is run and uh, and FME server is going to do the QA. This one takes a little longer because, of course, once the QA is done, um, it's also going to load the data into the uh, the database. So here, there it is. Okay, it was succe successful. We also give you back a little thing saying the data was completed. Added 386 features. Now, if I go back over here, what we're going to see is we're going to see the data being added, um, being triggered out. So the data is um, now being loaded in. And then what we're doing is we have some triggers on the database that um, um, again cause stuff to be pushed to uh, to pusher. Now. Here you can see them coming in. Now the important thing to remember is I did not write a line of code um, for any of this. Um, this is all driven by workspaces. I in fact do not even know how to write code on the back end. Um, for this trigger stuff we had to write a tiny little database trigger um, and then there was 12 lines of code that basically tied this into uh, to pusher.com. So there you go. That shows exactly how um, this works with um, with uh, uh, you know FME server. And